Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I suppose. I grew up here. Been gone for a couple of years. I'm not staying long. Wait, you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. <laughs> no luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse y'all keep kicking. Why do we even bother? Ah, now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? are many things, but not doddering. Plotting, maybe. Sam, you shouldn't say such things, even if they're true. Okay, Muley, for two points. What is the name of the pink pony on the animated cartoon show, Prancers? The super cool one I was telling you about the other day? You know, my favorite? Uh, Polly. Polly Pony? No, that's her sister. She's totally different. Then what is her name? I'm not telling. What if the card comes up again? You really like to win, huh, Bug? All right, coffee for you and hot chocolate for the young... Is that a comic about monsters? It's about Tardigrade Man. He can survive almost anything. His only weakness is his own emotions. He's based on the microscopic Tardigrades. It has eight legs and can survive star radiation. Huh. Well, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing a young woman should be reading. She says she's going to be an entomologist. What can you do? to be an entomologist. I'm gonna study every bug, especially the crawlies. But tardigrade isn't a bug, it's a micro-animal. Well, good for you. Sounds like just what a young woman like you should be reading. So, uh, can we play this again tomorrow, maybe? We can play as often as you want. You promise? Yeah, I promise. Pinky swear? If you break those, you go to hell. I don't think you're supposed to be using that language. You can't break this, no matter what. You're real intense for a kid, you know that? Say it! I won't break the pinky swear, no matter what. Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh, dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and, well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few... Have you seen Dennis since yesterday? 
Have you not learned to not interrupt people when they're talking, Sam? I don't have time for small talk today. <laughs> as rude as ever. I haven't seen Dennis. You have a nice day. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. So quiet there's no rush hour, I guess. Right? So the overhead would You seem be real engrossed. Oh, I'm sorry, hun. Just balancing the books. I'm trying to. Do you still have Basswood's best coffee? Ah, oh, honey, you know we've never had that. That's over at the police station. Bess takes her coffee very seriously. Puts mine to shame. She pays out of pocket for real high-end stuff. I'd never make the margins work. Not that my margins have been cutting it lately. Anyway, the past is the past. I just accepted a big business opportunity, which makes tidying up my books in time extra important, even if it kills me. I didn't think I'd see the day where you'd consider a franchise contract. Ha! Only the day God calls for me. Have you met Hugh Kirkland already? The new pharmacist. He's helping me with a few improvements. Angel investing. Can you believe it? I actually can't. What did he ask for in return? Oh dear, I can't believe you're so cynical at your age. People in small towns do help each other. Every now and again. That's not just something that happens on made-for-TV movies. I feel strange being back here. I don't think I've been in your cafe in a while. Almost two and a half years. Anna kept coming in, but you stopped. You noticed that? I could tell you two dears weren't gonna make it. it broke my heart. Well, sounds like you knew before I did. Gotta have one eye on the customer and one eye on the books. Not that I really want to keep an eye on the books, mind you. It's just been a bit slow the last few years. All over town, really. That's just a rough patch. People will adapt. They just need time. It's not always easy to look on the bright side when you're trying to make it through. But you know us. We always make it through. For example, I thought we'd never have another miner's day, but here we are. How you doing? 
You managed to keep the books balanced? About as well balanced as a snake with four balls. <laughs> that sounds uncomfortable, at the very least. <laughs> Something my grandfather used to say. Still don't know what it means, but it works in almost any situation. Hmm. Uh, say, hun, would you mind if I finish this? Oh, yeah, of course. Good luck with your book balancing. Mm hmm. Joe. Sam? <laughs> you old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. <laughs> Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? They might have given me a bit of a welcome back. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I can just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. Being crippled takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but... I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. Hey, can I ask you something? Hello, young man. Of course you can ask. No promise answering. Why do you bother cleaning the memorial? Well, everything has to look its best for today. Especially the miner. I really didn't think it was going to happen this year. Good thing Mr. Kirkland decided to help out. And besides, that way people can remember with pride we used to be rednecks. That matters to you? It should matter to every West Virginian. And why do you think it should matter so much? How many West Virginians does it take to screw in a light bulb? 
This doesn't sound like a history lesson. You answer my question, I'll answer yours. So, how many West Virginians? Ten. One to hold the light bulb, nine to rotate the ladder. <laughs> not bad. The one I have in store is three. One to replace the light bulb, two to complain about how the old one was better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, just not the kind of funny you laugh at. So, you still want to hear the story? I'm all ears. This fella here is a reminder of when coal miners stood together. You see, back a hundred years ago, you'd be safer in the trenches than down in the mines. He didn't sit right with our boys. They demanded better conditions. Of course, the corporations, being what they are, refused. And sent strike breakers. The mine wars. Miners came out in force, union men. Met the strike breakers over in Logan County. That's right. 10,000 strong. And it all came to a head at Blair Mountain. The miners tied red bandanas around their necks for solidarity. Brotherhood. At least a hundred men died in that battle. Blood spilled for what we have now. <laughs> oh. It definitely makes for one hell of a story. There's heroes everywhere. Heroes who died for what I have. So, I do my part. Feel I owe it to them. I get it. I think you do. Anyway, I get back to it. Gonna give her a real spit shine. You take care now. Hey, Bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Muley. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Did you get home okay last night? Yeah. I bike everywhere. It's not like anything scary bad happens in Basswood. At least not normally. Um... Any word on my dad? Did you really look into it? I haven't found anything yet, I don't think. Let me know if you find anything, please. I feel like I need something. It's just this town, you know? This place, it feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe, I can't think, I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. And just... When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't... I don't know. I don't see this place, or these people. I'm somewhere else. Anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just... It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world. Have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well that other stuff sounds okay though. 
Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So we're both busy. It's tough seeing her like this. Seems she got older by six years and just two. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you have to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understanding, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Then they go and do things like deface the whole town. And I'm the asshole? It could get under your skin. Where's... Where's you at, day after day? It grinds you down. It makes you feel like you've been lifting logs all day. Nah, sorry about that. I went off for a spell. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. Anna's waiting for me at the coffee shop. you came. Of course. I said I would. I can still be glad about it. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point. It's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah, sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? <laughs> so, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article. On how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. 
I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes. Or she might be someone who you can trust. Who can help. today and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Still gotta check the basswood jungle. Hopefully Dennis is working today. Samuel! Samuel, my young soul, are you still haunting this pallid town? Walter, you haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Can't say I have. I hear you got into quite a tussle. Quite the tussle. Nothing other than that? You should try the Basswood Jungle office. I've known him to go in on Sundays. He may be a prickly pear, a very prickly pear, but he's dedicated. If he says something will be done Monday, come the devil or come the rain, it is. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. You know, I'm glad I ran into you. If I may bend your ear for a moment. I've been thinking lately about age, life, the turn of the clock. No one gets sharper with age. When do you think it's time to hang up the saddle? A true cowboy rides until the last day they can ride. I had a feeling you'd say that. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for your ear, but soon I must have sconed. Sunday lunch with Mother is sacred. Call on me any time, young Samuel. Any time. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course, it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting before something bad happened to you. Trust me, I'll be out of here as soon as I can. Good. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood. Cause we'll be watching you.
been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Give up, Sam. You almost have it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. The chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? Some IT documents. Nothing useful. Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? Trying to figure out the shooter's face is a waste of time. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The blood got all over the wall here. But where did the bullet go? Bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that Sam, gun. Sam, stop it! Come back to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think!
You're... You're right. I can see it. I have a complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter, and that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me, and now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. You didn't deserve this. No one deserves this. Nope. I'm a 
almost something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. Nick's computer is missing. Took it home to work or stolen? and draw them. Nick's handwriting. Always paranoid about forgetting things. Nope. And with something like 10,000 combinations, I doubt I'll stumble on it. I should keep looking. It was a good guess, just not the right one. I should keep looking. <laughs> Walter always treated us like family. Desire. Ugh. My heart's desire. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. That was just after Anna came on. And we really were a small clan. 